Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and do another battery comparison. This time around, we have the Google Pixel 7a, Pixel 7, Pixel 6a, and the Pixel 6. And we're just going to go ahead and let them do a battery comparison and see how long it takes them all to basically die out. Now, these are all maxed out at the max brightness right now. They also have all the apps cleared out in the background as well, so there's not really too much missing out there. And we're just going to basically just kind of let them kind of die out. Now, I'm going to have to play a YouTube video in the background so these displays don't dim down. I'm also just going to go and straight get into Temple Run 2 because that seems to be the fastest way to kind of get these things to die out. So again, most of these, like the 7A is probably going to be at 100% battery capacity. These ones may be a little bit lower. The 6 may be the lowest, but we're just going to go and see how long it takes them to die out. So I'll check back in in about another hour or two and basically see where they're at at that time. And we'll basically go from there. All right, everyone, it's been about an hour. And like I said, Temple Run 2 in the background with the video playing, so nothing super crazy. And let's see what battery lives they are all at. And I'm sure it's going to be all over the place. So with the Pixel 7a all the way right here, we're at 86%. With the Pixel 7, we're at 87%. The Pixel 6a, we are at 89%. And the Pixel 6, we are at 88%. So surprisingly, the Pixel 6a is currently doing the best out of all of them. The Pixel 6 is also doing really, really good. The Pixel 7 is doing basically third place. And the Pixel 7a is in the last place right now. This is, I think, kind of what I expected. I think the 6a, I actually don't remember what the last battery comparison was, but after a few days, I guess, of the 7a, I think it got an update or two. This is where we're at. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to load them up on Temple Run 2. I'm going to keep that video playing in the background, and I'll check back in in another hour. I want to say it's going to be the exact same thing. The 6a is going to be in first place, the 6 in second, and probably these two are going to interchange, probably, but... I guess we'll see in about an hour and see where we're at. All right, everyone, we are at the two hour mark now. These phones have been doing the exact same thing for the last hour. So let's go and hop out of all these ones. And we are still at varying battery lives. So with our Pixel 7a, we are at 69%. The Pixel 7, we are at 74%. The Pixel 6a, we are at 78%. And the Pixel 6, we are at 75%. So as of right now, the Pixel 6a is still in first place. The Pixel 6 is in second. The Pixel 7 is in third, and the Pixel 7a is in the last place. My thoughts on this right now, kind of surprising. I kind of figured that the Pixel 7a would probably do better in some ways than the 7. I thought the 6a would probably do number one. I just kind of always felt like that. Surprisingly, the 6 is doing better than the 7, which is honestly kind of surprising to me as well. But the 7a doing the worst is probably the most surprising aspect between all of them. So I'm going to do the exact same thing again. Just going to load them up. Let's check back in another hour or two and see basically where we're at. All right, everyone, we are now at the four hour mark. Sorry about that. I kind of took a little break, but it's totally okay. At this point, again, Temple Run 2, they were in the sun, so I had to shut the blinds off a little bit, but the sun's still going through, so that may affect the battery life a little bit. The Pixel 7a is currently at 31%. The Pixel 7 is currently at, what is this, 45%. The Pixel 7, the Pixel 6a is at 54%. And the Pixel 6 all the way at the end is at, what is this, 44%. So still, as of right now, the Pixel 6a is in first place. The Pixel 6 actually is less than the Pixel 7 now, which is very surprising. And then the Pixel 7a all the way at the end is at 31%. This one is probably going to die, I think, in within two hours, two to three hours from now, this phone's probably going to be dead. I think the 6a is probably going to be the winner. But we'll check back in in another hour, and I'm hoping some of them start dying so I can kind of get my final thoughts on some of these phones. But we'll check back in whenever that happens, and we'll basically go from there. So we are an hour into, or another hour into it. I forgot to load up Temple Run 2, so they've actually just been on their main panel for the last hour. The Pixel 7a is at 21%. The Pixel 7 is at 35%. The Pixel 6a is at 43%. And then the Pixel 6 all the way at the end is at 32%. So still pretty much the same thing. The Pixel 7a is all the way at the end. The Pixel 7 is now... Actually, the Pixel 6 is now in second place in terms of the worst. The Pixel 7 is in third place, and the Pixel 6a is in first place. By quite a large margin, the Pixel 6a is ahead still, which is insane. So I'm going to go ahead and load up Temple Run 2 once again. Looks like the application closed out on all these phones, except for the Pixel 6, which is kind of interesting. So I'll go and play this game again. I'm pretty sure hopefully that one of these phones will die. I guess we'll see what happens, but we'll check back in in about another hour and basically see where we're at. So believe it or not, the Pixel 7a has just died at 6 hours and 16 minutes. The other ones are still at varying battery lives. The Pixel 7 is at uh, 18%, the Pixel 6a 29%, and the Pixel 6 is at 14%.
So there was already quite a bit of a difference here. I'll go and let these ones die out as well. But keep in mind, 6 hours, 16 minutes, pretty insane, you know. I mean, it is an interesting thing the 7A died so quick, but I guess we'll take a look in an hour and see whichever one it dies next. And then there was one, the Pixel 7 just ended up dying at the 7 hour, basically at the 28 minute mark. So what do we learn? Well, the Pixel 6a is still dominant at 10%, I think, battery life, or 13%, which is insane. So definitely if you're trying to look for the best Pixel currently with the best battery life, uh, the Pros may be having these ones beat. I might actually do another battery comparison between this one and the Pros, but definitely the 6a is up there for sure. So the 7a ended up dying first, which is pretty insane. I thought this one would last a little bit longer, but that didn't end up happening. The 6 ended up lasting... I mean, the six, the 7 beat the 6, but still the 6A was number 1. So but ultimately, hopefully some more updates come out for the 7A for it to have a little bit better battery life. But that's kind of how the battery comparison kind of went. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.